The Christian community in Pakistan has been torn with grief over the March 2nd assassination of Pakistani government minister Shabazz Bhatti. In a recent interview that was to be released in case he was assassinated, Bhatti declared himself ready to die for his principles and the defense of persecuted Christians. The forces of violence, militant band organization, the Taliban and pro Al-Qaeda, they want to impose their radical philosophy in Pakistan. And whoever stand against their radical philosophy, they threaten them. When I'm leading this campaign against the Sharia laws, for the abolishment of blasphemy law, and speaking for the oppressed and marginalized, persecuted Christian and other minority, these Taliban threaten me. But I want to share that I believe in Jesus Christ who has given his own life for us. I know what is the meaning of cross and I'm following of the cross and I'm ready to die for a cause. I'm living for the, my community and suffering people and I will die to defend their rights. So these threats and these warnings cannot change my opinion and principles. I will prefer to die for my principle and for the justice of my community rather to to compromise against uh, on the these threats Bati served as the federal minister for religious minorities and was the only Christian in Pakistani president Asif Ali Zardari's cabinet he had received death threats in recent months from Islamic extremist groups angered by his opposition to the nation's anti-blasphemy law According to the Associated Press, Al-Qaeda and the Punjab province-based Pakistani Taliban movement claimed responsibility for Bhatti's killing.